People say bacon's the candy of meat. I heartily disagree. Ken, what's your favorite kind of meat? Hot dogs. Hot dog. You know what makes a hot dog so perfect? It's a composite of a lot of different things. And uh, when I think of hot dogs, I think of hot dogs. I don't think of burgers. So somebody had the audacity to open a restaurant called Burger King and to put out hot dogs. Well, you know what I say to that king? We'll be the judge of this. Uh, we uh, are hot dog connoisseurs, if you can't tell. He goes by the name of Ken. I'm Murph. And we're about to do this. Ken Murph. Hot dogs are like oxygen. There's no such thing as a bad hot dog. Yeah. What's the worst hot dog you've ever had? Probably the one I found under the fridge. That was, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have eaten that. that wasn't. That was bad in so much as it had gone bad. It wasn't bad in so much as it was born bad. Can hot dogs can change, but one thing that can't change is uh, the continuity of a restaurant. And have you heard that Burger King came out with a hot dog? Mon dieu. Yeah, well, here's my thing. I bet the Burger King hot dog isn't any better than a hot dog from, say, a 7-Eleven. Uh, or maybe you, when you make yourself. When you make yourself. Like, it's cheaper, it's better, you can eat the whole pack. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm willing to try your hot dog, Burger King, but I make no assurances as if it's good. If only there was a good way to test out if a Burger King hot dog was better than a gas station hot dog or a home job hot dog. I think I got you covered. Did really? You hand job or home job? I moving on. You hear what you want to hear, Ken. What's going on, madam? What's <clears throat> We're going to do a blind study with three different types of hot dogs. Oh, yeah? Where do you get hot dogs from? Should I tell you? One is homemade. One All is right. from Burger King, and one is from 7-Eleven. Burger King. Burger King. You remember when they came out with uh, Burger King pizza? Because I don't either. Never mind that. I just hate the idea that Burger King's branching out into things other than burgers. I was upset the chicken fingers had no chicken fingers in them. That was upsetting. Yeah. Are the Girl Scout cookies made with real Girl Scouts? No. No. So you keep getting gypped. So I say, uh, let's do this. I, I want to taste some hot dogs. And I want to use my five senses minus one. I don't want to see these hot dogs. I don't want to see where they came from. I'm going to use my taste and my tongue and my nose, and Ken's going to do the same, even though he's got a deviated septum. <laughs> so uh, do you have our blindfold I candy I do. Batter? Go ahead and throw them on. Oh. All right. So we're going to give an overall view of the texture and taste and heat and You're whatnot. going to try to dog guess. Dogs. You've all had each of one of each. Not a pair. In your lifetime, you've had a 7-Eleven hot dog. You've I haven't had a Burger King hot dog, like but you've definitely had a home hot dog. <laughs> One or two. You guys are familiar with tube-shaped meat. That's what I'm saying. I like warming my hot dog in some buns. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. So on. throw your blindfolds right. on. You're going to give them a taste. Ow. All right. So are you going to show the camera what you're giving us? Here's my, yes. here's my concern. Uh, I want all tube-shaped meat to have come from a store. So let's not even... Can open your hand. Murph, reach forward. There you go. I'll tell you right away that I don't like the fluffiness of this bun. I like my buns to be soft and melt in my mouth, not be kind of doughy and soft. Well, to your, Take a hey, bite. That's, that's, that's kind of not to your health, health, oh, to your health young man. All right, let's give a taste. Mm, not bad. It's got a... It's got a, it tastes like multiple meats. It's kind of mealy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I need another bite. Hold on here. How much is crap eating? You could, you could stop eating that at any time. I can, but do we want to? Um, dog. I'd say that if I had to guess, I'd say this is a home dog, and, right. and I'll give it a, a six out of ten. All right, Ken? I'm going to go with, hold on, I'm going to my home dog as well, but I'm going to say 7 out of 10. Yeah. All right, all right, push him away from you. Good call, home dog. Here's our next, I'm showing the people at home. You're going to just 
things over here. I, guess. I don't know. Yeah, I just moved mine. I think the cat got it. All right, reach forward. Ken. All right. This is terrible feeling already. <laughs> Murph. I don't know what we have. Oh, here. man. All right, so just for this, the sake of argument, this bun is huge. Do you hear how hard my bun is? That's not even a joke, people. I almost feel like I could wrap a wipeout with this. All right, take a bite. <laughs> oh, wipe that wrap. All right, here you go. Do you even taste hot dog? It's sweet. It really is. What the hell is that? I can't tell if it's the bun that's sweet or the hot dog that's sweet. Does yours have pieces of like hard, like bony substance? Mmm. I'd say it's the consistency of some celery that has long since gone bad. Mm -hmm. All right, take a guess. Where's that from? If I had to guess, I'm calling. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I, you, was you guys, I was choking on my, you guys my first. sawdust. And, um, I got too much bun in my throat. You guys first. I got a sawdust um, bony consistency with a rock hard bun. I'm going to go with gas station. All right. Yeah. I'm going to call it a gas station dog. And Oh, God. Why do you keep eating? Give it a number. Yeah. <laughs> Four. All right. I'll call it another. Nah, no, nah, it's a five. No, right. it is. It's a five. Push it's your hot dogs away. I don't even know. All right, that. last hot dog. Let me show the people at home where this one's from. All right. Are we eating this one? <sighs> if you'll notice, oh. this one has a gigantic crease in it. What? Go ahead. I, 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 Go ahead are you already eating it? it? No, no, no. I was just, oh. I was just respecting the crease. Um, the bun. Also has that manufactured feel to it. It's like not, it's not as hard, but you can hear that it's not as hard, but it is sort of like got that yoga mat consistency. Just like try like, poking the dog itself. It like does, there's, does yours have a crease? It's mine doesn't have like give to it. It's like a gym mat. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like the bun has that sort of feeling of like bouncing against a trampoline. Yeah, with go ahead, your take tongue. a bite. All right. Okay. That's unpleasant. Why is it unpleasant? It's got like a spice to it. It tastes like potted meat. Which we've eaten enough on on the show. To... I'd say it's almost more like a kielbasa. Try sliding a little bit of the wiener out of your buns and just give it a little nibble. Murph, I, I'm not going to... I don't even know if I... Ugh. It's almost like a Slim Jim or a Jack's Link Slim Jim. No, no it's not. You're completely full of crap on this one. This is like bad potted meat. All right, so the only place left that you haven't mentioned is Burger King. Oh, did you hear that? Did you break it's a, a chunk of bone? I, I'll go with this Burger King, and I'll I'll go I'll split the middle. I'll call it a five point five. I'm calling this a three. If this is Burger King, you and I are gonna have words, King. Well, they have no. It's not hot dog King. You don't go to Smoothie King and expect a pancake. Why do you go to Burger King and expect a hot dog? Can we uh, take these off you now? Can take or them off. 5.5, I say that last one, Burger King. What's the scoop? Well, the last one was Burger King. Oh. Do you want to take a look at it up close? Man. Yeah, this mine the, did have a split. It was just tucked in there. Like, it's got a giant crease. And look, I'm peeling this back, and it maintains as one piece. Hi, Murph. I'm a terrible hot dog. This is like the worst episode of Veggie Tales ever. This uh. is like the vegetarian nightmare version of Veggie Tales. Hello, Ken. I'm the octopus of hot dogs. So the Burger King hot dog uh. got the lowest rating. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, you know what? Stick to what you know, Burger King. It does kind of remind me of a kielbasa. Oh, and what is that thing? I'm not even kidding you. What the hell? It's like uh, brine. No, it isn't. Dude, that's a hard chunk of... What is it? Did you pop a zit on that? That's like no, a black man. head. And look, that's a, that's one of those pieces of bone that I chipped my tooth on. Mmm. This is quality stuff. Well, let's folks. just put these away forever in our... And did they of... paint these on? Yeah, it's like the McRib where they in, uh, imprint the oh, grill marks. Oh, my. So what's, what was uh, uh, that too? The middle one was actually 7-Eleven. You were right again. Oh, oh, oh. I think I threw that one. Um, yeah, that one was... Um, that's the hard one. Not good. I don't know. And the first one was a home job? The first one was the homemade. How old? Well, not homemade, but... Yeah, fixed in the kitchen. Fixed in the kitchen. So, um... And the homemade one won. 
uh, homemade one. So I guess the lesson is with a hot dog, do it yourself, do it at home. Uh, cook it on a grill, put it in the microwave, boil it in a big pot of water, and then feed the water to your neighbor. So who actually won this one? It was actually a tie, because... Oh, we got all of them. See, we are hot dog connoisseurs. Bum, bada, bum. But I, I just want to give you one more challenge. I want to see if you guys could taste the flavor of these chips. You know how I like to give you chips that are crazy flavored. I remember it was about two years ago you introduced us to the chicken and waffle one. Was they, Were they Roscoe's? What do we... Oh, I got, I got a chip. I feel like a certain person's birthday party. Yeah. Here, have a cookie. <laughs> yeah. What, you what would you call those? Give me a minute. It's almost like, you ever have rib tips? You can take your blind. No, no, no. This is... I have the package out of the way. This is like dirt. Dirt and sugar? Sugary dirt. I mean, it's not bad. But it tastes like that red sauce you put on ribs in a Chinese joint. Oh, Korean barbecue. Well, I guess this was the winner. Or no, is this the new? I don't know. Every year they got those new chips out. You can look. We did the Lay's Do Us a Flavor a couple of years ago. Couldn't find the bacon mac you know and what? cheese. But speaking of uh, winners. Tim. Uh, uh, no, not Tim. That guy is a big loser. Pete Kastner won our subs for subs. Congratulations, Pete. You got $20 to a giant national sub chain. Coming your way real soon. Tim's a snazzy guy. I think he fixes computers. Good guy. Uh, we gleaned that from his social media. But uh, you know where else we can glean your social media? Where on social be? media. At Ken Murph Do This. Twitter and Instagram. Uh, on the Facebook, Ken Murph Do This. Don't forget to share, like, comment. Tell us how you find these hot dogs. Go to your local 7-Eleven Burger King end store. Do it yourself. Share it with us. Let us know how you made it. <laughs> Eating challenges. We all love eating challenges. As you can see right here, playlist. Go check it out. You can watch all of our eating challenges in a row. And uh, don't forget that coming up on Saturday, it's going to be... Hold on, I don't got my glasses on. Telepromptery? Uh, on Saturday... It's break the chain. That's where we'll try to, you know, keep the chain going. Like, I'll say hot, and Ken will say... Hot dog. And then I'll say, hot dog, we have a wiener. And it was Pete Kastner. Congratulations again, Pete. You want a sticker? Comment. Hit us on social media. Ken Murph, do this at Gmail. And uh, until next time, we're going to gnaw some dogs. He's Ken. I'm Murph. And we'll uh, see you next time we, we do this. <laughs>